Hello people of the internet, this is Lee, and today I'm reviewing Bodies from Vertigo Comics. This is issue one in an eight-part mini-series by Cy Spencer. This is, um, got an assortment of artists who worked on it. Uh, essentially the story is in four parts. There's four different stories going on within each book. They each get a few pages and that's how the author from interviews I've read intends to continue through the course of the mini-series. Um, one of the really neat things I feel like they did with this was each of those stories. They're just taking place in a different time. Um, but I have a lot of similarities to the previous story. So a way that they differentiate between those is to have a different artist working on each one of those stories within the story of bodies. Um, so that was something I really liked, having the different art styles. They um, help to flesh out each of the individual times, uh, and I think in a way better uh, than it could have been had they just had a single artist doing the all of the art for the entire book with uh, just the, the heading with the um, date and year instead. So I like how they did that, how they handled it. Um, overall, I wasn't in, in really that impressed with the book, but I didn't hate it either. I thought it was fine. I thought the writing was fine. Uh, I felt like the author tried a little too hard with the era specific jargon to the point where if you actually want to know what some of the dialogue is you have to go to Google or be much better at uh, archaic language archaic English language than I am so that was something I felt like wasn't necessary but I understood what the author was trying to do just by um, being very much in that time. So while I feel like it tried too hard, I don't think that it was a deal breaker for me. I also feel like even though I wasn't amazed with the story, um, the concept itself, uh, the fact that it's, like I mentioned several times already, four different stories, four different times, but they all have a common thread. And the common thread is that each of the protagonists is a law enforcement official of some kind, and they happen upon a body in an alley in London. So I'm curious what ties those threads together. It gave us a little bit of information, but not enough to actually know anything. So enough to string you along into the next issue, which is what's going to happen to me. I'm strung along, I'll go and read the next issue. But um, I'm not as enthusiastic about it as I am some of the other titles. Essentially what's keeping me invested is more that it is a miniseries that in eight months I'm guaranteed to be done with it. So, and you know too, if I drop it, it's not the biggest deal to get a trade paperback later on and read them all in one sitting. That works out. That's a, and one of the reasons I really like a mini series is if you miss an issue, they're easier to come by that way. Um, also, sometimes it's just nice to be able to read an entire story in one sitting as opposed to having to continue on. But at this time, um, yeah, I think Bodies is a perfectly fine mini-series. Overall, I've been really impressed by what Vertigo is bringing to the table. Not every single thing they're doing is a complete masterpiece, but this DC imprint is definitely doing some different things that, aside from, oh, those are crooked, um, aside from seeing Image do a lot of different things, you just don't have a lot of publishers that are really trying to change things. Uh, other things that DC has done or through vert their Vertigo imprint are they've uh, relaunched the Sandman Overture. A lot of people are loving that. I'm actually holding off on it because every time a new issue has a street date, that street date turns out to be a lie, sometimes by months. So that's one I'm truly waiting for the trade paperback on or just to, I actually have them. So just to wait until there's an actual collection of them and I can read them sitting down at one time. Uh, I was also impressed. They have uh, Coffin Hill. That was a really good story that Vertigo's come up with. So if you haven't checked out Vertigo recently, whether it's through Bodies or a different title, definitely pick them up. They're doing a really good job of uh, 
just creating stories. They're telling things that are different than the uh, typical superhero tale. And that's something you'll notice probably about a lot of my reviews. I'm not uh, as attracted to superhero tales as I am something new and different. Or in the case that it's not new and different, I mean, everybody's read a murder mystery at some point, just a different story than um, what a lot of what's going on in the comic realm. So yeah, uh, check out Vertigo. You can check out Bodies, just if the subject matter interests you, just be warned. I didn't think the writing was terrific, amazing, outstanding. I didn't, the same goes with the art. Um, but if there's any of the art that you consider to be truly an abomination is pulling you out of the story, you hate it, you hate it, you hate it. If you can get through four pages, you're moving on to a new artist. So that in itself can be kind of a, uh, something for the pro column rather than the con column if art is something that's important to you in that aspect. So, but for me, um, the art was not significant enough to warrant absolute hatred of it. It was just fine. Um, and it's actually, some of it was pretty decent, good even, but not, you know, not really anything out amazing, outstanding. I need to seek out this artist and read everything that he's ever drawn a picture in. So... Yeah, I guess I'm just sticking with overall it's a fine book. If you're looking for a mini series, if you're looking to test drive some new Vertigo stuff, give it a go. Um, $3.99 for the cover price, which is pretty average. Um, I like the $2.99 price point better, but I'm not the one in charge, so I'll just leave that alone. But there's my review of Bodies from Cy Spencer with Vertigo as the publisher. If there's anything you would like me to review in the future, please let me know in the comments. You can also like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be doing a, a daily comic reviews, so I've got one more that will be coming out tomorrow, and then I've got a new week of books starting on Wednesday that I'm excited about. So just check in, let me know what you want, and I will do my best. Thanks, bye.